morning. My name is Father Joe Prevett. I'm pastor of Holy Rosary Church. It's a privilege to be with you this morning as we commend Carol back to the Lord. So let's pray to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, Jesus says, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. And you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Lord God lives in his holy temple, yet abides in our midst. Since the baptism, Carol became God's temple, and the Spirit of God lived in her. With reverence, we bless her cremation. So our psalm response is, I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Gracious is the Lord and just. Yes, our God is merciful. The Lord keeps the little ones. I was brought low, and he saved me. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I believed even when I said I am greatly afflicted. I said in my alarm, no man is dependable. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. And with God there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Let's pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. This time I invite Carol Sonnekin to come forward to say some words. Queen, where do I start? I'm not gonna lie, you shake the world with this one. Since you've been gone, it's not a day or night after Friday. You know better than anyone that ain't me. You were more than a mother, you were my best friend and the greatest woman I ever knew. Your words of wisdom made so many people better. Your actions over since then taught me to get it done and not talk about it. There aren't enough words in every language combined to describe how much love I have for you. Twenty been a weary year and hard to forget, but now I will never forget the year. That took the greatest person I know to walk this earth. <laughs> you fought hard the entire time, and I know because I was with you. sense of loss and grief, the Lord comforts us, and so we ask the Lord to comfort all of the family and friends that Carol gather around here today. We know that our prayers continue to be with you as we commend her and her soul back to the Lord who gave to us, and remember why God gave her to us, and why God gives us all life, and that's to be with him forever. And so let's keep that in our thoughts and minds as we go forward and support one another in the weeks and the months ahead. So let us pray. Into your hands, O Lord, we humbly entrust our sister Carol. In this life, you embraced her with your tender love. 
Deliver her now from every evil and bid her enter eternal rest. The old order has passed away. Welcome her in, then into paradise, where there there will be no sorrow, no weeping or pain, but the fullness of peace and joy with your Son and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And blessed are those who have died in the Lord. Let them rest from their labors, for their good deeds go with them. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. And may her soul and all the souls of the faithful depart at the mercy of God. Rest in peace. Amen. Amen. And may the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God <laughs> and of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go to the peace of Christ. First, like to thank all the friends and relatives for being here today on behalf of the family, especially those that are live streaming today. I'd also like to thank Father for his nice service today. This concludes the service. As a final tribute, if you'd like to pass by the urn one last time, starting with the back of the parlor, ma'am. <laughs> 